Reminded myself we're coming up on tax time uh. here in the new year. As you prepare your return, the IRS is warning of scams. Yeah, watch out for thieves who might be trying to steal your vital tax information. On your side's Gary Harper shows us some of the best ways to protect yourself. Yeah, people tend to get a little jumpy around tax time. They want to make sure that they meet the deadline. And of course, they want to make sure that all the paperwork is filled out correctly. Scammers know that and they try to take advantage of the situation. Tax season is fast approaching and experts warn scammers are gearing up to steal your critical and personal information. There are millions of dollars every year that fall victim to these scams. And so it's a really huge problem. Kimberly Palmer from NerdWallet says oftentimes victims are tricked into giving out their tax information. And they reach out to taxpayers claiming that they urgently need their personal information, their financial information, because you owe taxes, fees, penalties. But of course, none of that is true. The IRS says scammers do people in many ways. Sometimes it comes in the form of a text with bogus links claiming to be from the IRS or other tax services. Another common phishing technique, a fraudulent email that appears to be from the IRS or a program closely linked to it. The IRS says if you received an unsolicited text, take a screenshot of it and include the screenshot in an email to phishing at irs.gov. Make sure you tell the IRS the date, time, and time zone you received the message and the phone number that received the text message. Remember, never click on links or open attachments from unsolicited, suspicious, or unexpected text messages. Anytime anyone reaches out to you saying that they're from the government or uh, from you know some official organization, just to verify. Jacob Chanel from Lending Tree says, if you think you've been conned by scammers, reach out to your bank and the IRS as quickly as possible. The longer you wait, the harder it will be to get your money back. Remember, the Internal Revenue Service will never contact you through social media, email, or by phone. If any of those pop up, expect it to be a scam. The IRS will only contact you in writing. I'm Gary Harper, on your side.